everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Tribal Fire Department for another Fleet Friday. Uh, my name is Tracy Cole. I'm a senior firefighter on A ship. And uh, today we're going to be going over engine two. This is our main fire suppression engine. It's a 2007 Spartan. So uh, let's dive. All right, so let's take a look inside. Here's the driver operator compartment. All right, so next we, uh, we're gonna go in our jump seats back here. Uh, it's equipped, we got four Drager 7,4500 PSI bottles. Uh, we got our water bullet here, and then our, our medical cabinet right here. It's stocked with all our radios with our structure fire, uh, fire ground communications, our opiate overdose kits. Uh, we got our gas sniffer up here for any uh, gas leaks, or stuff like that. Our suction and our AED. up there we also equipped with some stream lights uh, medical gloves and uh, yeah this is where all the fun happens back here all right so coming to the driver's side panel here uh, we got 25 foot and 50 foot of our large diameter hose for uh, hydrant operations our steam report and our two discharge along with the two and a half inch intake for like nursing operations uh, also we got two uh, pre-connect lines 250 foot a piece uh, inch and three quarter with 250 foot pre connect of uh, two and a half, all foam capable. And then uh, down here is going in, we got a low level strainer for drafting on uh, the quarter tank. Let's check out the pump panel. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward pump panel. Um, you got your steamers here. Your rear inlet, both primers, and obviously your tank fill and your tank to pump over here. Uh, the deluge gun up here. This truck has 750 gallons of water along with 20 gallons of foam. And then also it's equipped with a radio box right here for our operator so they can stay in touch with command. And then uh, fire suppression crews. Uh, next, we're going to go to the operator's compartment right here. Uh, in here is basically just a bunch of different couplings, reducers, uh, some spanner wrenches, unhook and hook hose, helps us out a little bit, uh, some spare nozzles. Uh, we got a, a two and a half gate for our hydrant. Um, just a bunch of miscellaneous uh, nozzles and couplings that we might need. Uh, in these compartments right here, spare our spare air bottles. Also have the quick connects here which makes it really fast and easy to switch out bottles for your operations. Uh, we got four, four spare air packs in this compartment, along with our RIT bag. Oh. In the rear compartment, we got a PPV, otherwise known as a positive pressure vent fan, a cord reel, uh, any extrication might need some extra lighting we can run off the generator of the truck uh, i got some air hose along with some zorball pads uh, spare batteries for all of our electric extrication tools drills uh, traffic cones along with a little bit of extra scene lighting uh, this is going to be our extrication cabinet uh, really quick above top we got all of uh, non pre-connect spare ldh and two and a half in case we need to get a little bit of extra length on our hose for our hydrants. Uh, in this compartment we got our Genesis hydraulic jaws. Um, truck 3 has our actual battery powered jaws. These are kind of a backup set. Toolbox here for all of our tools. Uh, extrication wrenches, stuff like that, disconnect batteries. We got a portable generator light back in there. And then this will be our pump that controls and runs our jaws. Moving over to the uh, officer side rear here. Uh, this is going to be a bunch of cribbing for extra cabin. up top here. Stabilize the cars in the wreck so uh, it's not getting away from us. Along down here are step chocks. 
And moving down to the bottom shelf here, we got our typical hydrant bag, along with some brooms and shovels to clean up debris on car racks. Right here will be our K12, cut through garage doors, steel, pretty much anything. And then a vent saw right here so we can ventilate, cut holes in the roof on a structure fire. Spare gas. All right, here's extra, extra bottles again in both of these compartments. And moving up here, these are all our hand tools for fire suppression. Actually a handle here and it swivels out. More tools, more tools behind that. All right, moving to the uh, officer side, front compartment here is our medical cabinet. We try to keep all our trucks the same. So starting right here, we got two jump bags fully equipped, along with our COVID-19 precautions, our PPE kit that we've prepared. Uh, we got the Striker Lucas again on this truck for all of our cardiac arrests. Oh, up top here, we got head blocks and C-collars for uh, C-spine or spinal injuries immobilization. We got headboards for uh, spinal injured patients and car wrecks and stuff. We can actually stabilize their spine from a seated position and pull them out of a car. Uh, we got our uh, traction splints here for mid-shaft femurs, uh, fractures along with a bunch of disinfectant wipes and sanitary needs. Here's our electric over hydraulic ladder rack, uh, equipped with a 24 foot uh, roof ladder here, along with a 24 foot extension ladder below that. Um, our hard suction for all our drafting, along with another hard suction for our nursing. We can actually hook right into the back here and uh, nurse off our tender. 10 foot attic ladder as well. And also there's a pipe pole for uh, pulling ceiling, stuff like that. All right, so over on the officer side, we got another steamer here. Uh, water intake, along with a large diameter discharge and a two and a half inch discharge here. Uh, we have access to the pump. This is a 1750 gallon per minute watcher's pump. In our, in our step compartment here, we got a floor dry to clean up like gas or oil leaks in a car accident. Also the remotes here to lift our cab for vehicle maintenance. Right up top here behind the cab, we got a backboard for patient extrication, spinal stabilization needs. And then, uh, Moving right back into the jump, the jump box, I call it. Better view of the Drager pack. Moving right up into our officer seat here. It's equipped just like truck three. Uh, we got our tablet for our navigation and all of our reporting needs. Um, I know as Tyler had mentioned previous in the other video, sometimes we got on a long call, down power line, something like that, we can have our reports actually done before we even clear the scene. Uh, we also have a Knox box in this truck with uh, keys for local businesses around so we can access them. And under the officer seat here, we got an old green beacon light. Uh, they used to use that actually to identify staging and command back in the day. Um, we don't use that anymore. And then it also has a fire extinguisher in there. Right up front here is our front bumper line. It's pre-connected. There's a lot of car fires. It's just a lot quicker to access. adjustable nozzle along with another cord reel again for extrication needs or anything where we need a little bit extra power a couple spanner wrenches well that concludes this week's fleet friday uh, i hope you guys learned a little bit and enjoyed this week's segment 
Uh, tune in next week. For